Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayan, and this is The Groom. And what did we watch? We watched Poultrygeist, Night of the Chicken Dead, because of Zachary Haith. Thank I, you, Mr. Haith. I hope you're happy. He is very pleased with himself, I'm sure. He put a suggestion on Dead Dudes in the House that if we were to review any trauma, please make it be this. this and actually, it was. <laughs> this, this is actually the second time I've watched this movie. Early in our relationship, she somehow convinced me to watch this movie. And this is the second time around, and it was just like I remembered it. Amazing. So, Poultry Geist, A Night of the Chicken Dead. Released in 2006, it's written and directed by Lloyd Kaufman and Jacob Friedman. <sighs> Why don't you tell them about the movie? Well, let me tell you about the movie. So, it opens with Wendy and Arby... <laughs> So all the characters in this movie are named after, like, fast food franchises. Danny. You don't pick up on it. Mickey. Carl Jr. Carl Jr. Um, making out, um, <laughs> making love in a cemetery where some weird things happen with zombie fingers and a guy with an axe. And they kind of have a conversation while this is all happening that Wendy is going off to college. However, Arby is not. And he's kind of concerned that maybe she won't, you know, stick it out for him and wait. Maybe college would change her, which she says, nay, it will not. It never will. One college semester later, it does, in the form of protesting um, people, what was, they were called clam? Clam. College lesbians against mega conglomerates. Yes. So RB wow. goes to the opening of a trauma-style Kentucky Fried Chicken and sees Clam there, sees Wendy there. She is with a, a very terrifying lesbian who is now her lover. And obviously she changed. And to battle this, he decides to get a job in the restaurant. Which we find out is on top of uh, an Indian burial ground. So ultimately what happens is the spirits of all the slaughtered chickens, as well as the spirits of the displaced Poor Native Americans um, kind of like band together and create the poultry geist, which starts to mutate and turn people into terrifying chicken creatures. And it's incredible. And I will leave it off there as this is spoiler free. I can't believe they made this movie. I freaking <laughs> love this movie. So ridiculous. So. <laughs> All right. So what did you like about the movie? There's a few things I really like about this movie, as it is trauma. Um, there, it's very trauma. It's the most traumiest trauma. I love that Lloyd Kaufman's in it because I love him. <laughs> I love you, Lloyd Kaufman. Uh, you gave me a sticker at Monster Mania, and I still have it on my laptop, and it's for Poultry Geist. Um, that's how we watched the movie the first time. I asked you about the sticker. Yep. Uh. I love the kills. The kills are literally ridiculous. There's one kill in particular that I love so much because it's all like puns or like the way you would make chicken. They're killing people like someone like cracks the skull open on the um, flat top. <laughs> and eggs come out. And eggs come out. So the wishbone. There's two of the chicken dead. They have a dude upside down. And he's like, make, make a, a wish. wish. And the one guy goes, I wish it was a princess. And like rips the leg off. And the first time I saw this, I actually had to stop the movie because I was crying. Just laughing so hard. Like the most apathetic, depressing sounding chicken monster ever. I wish it was a princess. I wish it was a princess. <sighs> like it's so good. It's so good. I loved it. <laughs> What were your likes, sir? Uh, all right. So the one, the one thing I absolutely loved is the over-the-top trauma practical effects are amazing. So good. And there, that's just that's just trauma being trauma. But it's just like it's, it's so ridiculous. It's of all the puns are great. Mm -hmm. You know, like the names are great. The puns, the over-the-top. Racial undertone jokes oh, it's are painful. so cringeworthy. It's amazing. This is like, oh my god, the the, the character, what character's name is Paco Ta or Paco Bell? 
come on. It's, uh, a lot of it, you're just like... <laughs> it's just like, oh my God. What's oh, the Muslim cook? Oh, All the 9-11 jokes? Not cool. I was like, oh my God. Oh. Uh, not cool at all. The it jokes was... about the general getting matches for his grandpa to like crosses on fire and you're just like oh my god it's just um i like it's i can't believe this movie was only made like 12 years ago yeah that's just i can't believe this movie came out <laughs> oh, oh bonus like i love musicals and this is a musical and there are amazing songs <sighs> with a line about tossing salads in it it's so funny like they're so good the there's fast food love the fast food love there's like a scene where Lloyd Kaufman dances with Arby and it's like this choreographed thing and they're both dancing and unfortunately wearing thongs. Cause there's tutus. a tutus. There's a big scene of that. Well, he's a counter girl, so he has to yeah, wear a tutu. Yeah. What did you, well, you ask me, what did I dislike about this movie? Well, I'll tell you. Um, there's like, it felt like it lasted for five minutes. There's like an, eye gouging scene where they're using beaks to rip out people's eyes and you can see the optic nerve and I hmm yeah what's my thing I don't like um I hope it's not terrifying pooping scenes because there's a no, lot of those no that's actually my bonus like <laughs> the Jared <laughs> pooping scene yes. is amazing and R.I.P. that actor because he was amazing and we miss you um the thing I don't like is my my pet peeve in anything. The fingernail thing. Oh! Oh, oh it was yeah. all ten of them. Well, it oh. was like he did one of these and like they four just... of them popped up. And then he's like, ah, ah, ah. Oh. And I just looked at him and he's like, mm-mm. I was like, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. 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 We made the unfortunate that I made food and we ate dinner while we watched this movie. I'm just like, oh my God, I'm so glad we didn't have chicken. But there was a dippy egg on top of the burgers. <laughs> All they could think of was the egg cracking up and seeing what I was making eggs. Oh, Margaret, and crack it open. There's a little poultry guy. <sighs> I just, uh, yeah, that that thing in El scene was horrible. That's really the only thing I didn't like. I hated the eye scene, too. But, like, that's the, like, you come into this going, it's trauma. And you realize, like, it's actually a pretty solid story. Yeah. I have to give them that. And the music's really decent, actually. And whoever cooked up this idea, what the hell were you smoking? Thank you, Uncle Lloyd. <laughs> yeah. Oh, another bonus, like, this is a thing that happens in pretty much any trauma movie. I'm sure that it's, like, a lot of friends and, like, hey, you want to be in this movie? And people are like, oh, yeah, yeah. But it's, like, every single body is represented in this. All different kinds of boobs are represented in this, and I appreciate that. There's a lot of boobs. There's a lot of real bodies, and that's awesome. Be proud of that, even if some of them are um, possessed by a demon chicken. Yeah. Or the guy with the chicken boobs. I'm the guy with the chicken boobs, and he's like, I have bitch tits, and then they hatch. (laughs) We love this movie. Oh, this is so ridiculous. All right, rating time. What do you give Poultrygeist, Night of the Chicken Dead? Honestly, like, I could watch this movie over and over and over and over, and I kind of want the soundtrack. So I am going to give this, like, a 5 out of 5. I freaking love this movie. I'm not apologizing for it. I love Troma. I love Troma. What do you give it? I give it a 4.5 out of 5. This is a pretty solid movie, and if you... It's a 4 out of 5 out of 5 on the trauma scale. It's trauma. The practical effects are cheesy. The jokes are, like, there's puns and there's corny jokes. And there's borderline racist jokes. There's racist jokes. <laughs> very racist jokes. They're very, a lot of stereotypical shit in this. Oh, my God. Yeah. All the Native American stuff. Oh, when they're that going was, around, oh, my God. That around. was horrible. Like, oh. But it's, when you do it on the sliding scale of trauma. It's four out of five out of five for me because it's trauma. Like, this is trauma through and through. This is everything you expect in a trauma movie. And I give, I give it a four out of five because the music's solid. I mean, the effects are trauma, but the story is actually one of the better stories I've seen in a trauma movie. It's a solid story. And bonus, Ron Jeremy's in this. Yeah, for like a second. 
you know. <laughs> I wonder how much they paid for that. Well, they've had, <laughs> what was it? Citizen Toxie had Ron Jeremy and <laughs> Lemmy. And and Ron, Ron Jeremy plays a spoof of the guy from Friday the 13th, the crazy guy who tries to warn everybody, which I love that. Because <laughs> <clears throat> I love slashers. So, um, yeah, definitely four, four, four 4.5 out of 5. And this is, this is like I said, this is, this is about as solid as a trauma movie is going to get when it comes to everything. I have actually recommended this to people to, to just to be like, yo, man, you want to you you have a good time? Watch this movie. Don't wait till your kids go to bed. Do not play this around children. Unless you but. have a lot of money for therapy. <laughs> but yeah, I mean it's it's a it's a great it's a great movie. I won't give it a five out of five because it's not my five out of five was Sha- was Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead is awesome. And this is close but not Shaun of the Dead, which okay. I thought was a great balanced movie. Noted. So tell them where to find you. Well, where can you find the movie? Oh, you can. F- we watched it on YouTube, but you can purchase it for rent or buy off of Amazon Prime Video. It used to be on net- Netflix. It has since been removed. You know how Netflix likes to cycle movies. They may be- they may bring it back. So before you would even before you would go to buy it from Amazon Prime, check on net- Netflix. If it's not there, check on YouTube. But if all else fails, you can find it on Amazon Prime. I think it was like a dollar ninety nine to rent it. I'm or, sure it's available on physical copy as well. Uh, it is definitely available on physical copy. You can actually buy it off of Amazon on physical copy. Or if you find this in, I don't know where, what store you would find this in. In one of the rare Farmer's remaining market. Uh, Farmer's market. DVD <laughs> movie <sighs> stores that are getting phased out, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, you're so, keeping them in business. Yep. Sure am. So you can... You can fudge. You can fudge. But I didn't say fudge. (laughs) (laughs) It is Christmas. (laughs) All right. All right. You can find me on Twitch under Repeat Ray Animator. You can also find me on Twitter under Repeat Groom Ray. You can find me on Facebook at Ray Animator Reviews and Twitter and Instagram at Ray Animator. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Leave a comment with your thoughts. Did you love this movie as much as I did? Or 4.5 as much as The Groom did? What's your favorite trauma movie? Do you have any suggestions for something that you'd like us to both review that maybe you'll actually review this time on, like, Dead Dudes in the House? Um, Couldn't do it, Johnny. It was, it was a movie. Ridiculous. Um, don't forget to hit the notification bell to be... Alerted every time I post a video or live stream. Live streams. Live streams. Um, uh, my reviews solo and with the groom are also available in podcast form via the Farsighted Network on iTunes. And also, please check out the Farsighted Network on Facebook. Also, to subscribe to the channel, you click the button that's going to be somewhere around here. You can also somewhere. review more movies that are probably going to appear right all over my face. Right about now. Or you could put it in the middle so people can see <laughs> Or it. I could put it in the middle. Okay. Thanks, thank y'all Thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching.